175,000 views. What was last week? Yes, ma'am. What was the name of the show? Do you remember? <laughs> yep, someone's going to get caught. Someone, somebody's going to get caught. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in this service before that, do you remember? Jesus preached, he preaches the end time word. Okay, how many? That one had uh, 270,000. Wow. I believe the Lord is saying, go ye into all the world. Preach the gospel to all nations. Amen. Amen. You know, the Lord is so wonderful. It's so wonderful. Would you raise your hands again to that God may be glorified. He may be glorified. And how do we glorify him? We give up our all in all to him. From our minds to our hands to our feet, our heart. He's glorified for the things and by the things that we do for him. So grateful and so good to be here among his people. It's so precious. 
I, I feel the Holy Spirit already. Glory be to God. I always say, here comes Jesus. Here comes Jesus. Just give him my hand. Thank you, Lord. I want everyone in the room to say thank you. Thank you. And look at one another. You're not thanking them, but you're thanking God for them. And look behind you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're thanking God for their blessings. Amen. You're thanking God for what He's done for them. Yes. yes. We're not selfish. We're grateful. Amen. 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 Yes. I'm going to start with the Bible right here. And the title today is God is in every battle. Yes. He's in every battle. Yes. And he's going to end it Amen. himself. God himself is going to end. But God is in every battle. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Let's turn to Judges, the book of Judges. It reads, now after the death of Joshua. It came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord. Now, people need to get together and ask of God. Ask God as a whole. Who shall lead us? Joshua had passed. Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites? First, to fight against them. You see, when God is in the battle, when we're asking God, come, show us the way, he'll do it. He will do it. Now, what we need is more faith to believe that God will. Don't ask him anything if you don't have faith. Don't ask him to come and help you if you don't believe he's going to do it. Amen. Right? Okay. And the Lord said, he had somebody picked. Judah shall go up. Hallelujah. I feel it before. I go he said, behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. Well, see, God will talk and tell you whose hand I'm picking. It's in his hand. People don't need to make a mistake looking around who's who, who God says, Judah, Lord, have mercy. And when God picks you, he needs you. Come on, don't lay your charge on nobody else. I pick you. And Judah said it to Simeon on his brother. Simeon, his brother, come up with me. His brother tell him, come up with me mm -hmm. into my lot that we may fight against the Canaanites. And I will likewise will go with thee into the lot. So Simeon went with him. And Judah went up. And the Lord delivered the Canaanites, the Persites, and the hand, and slew of them in their basin. These had 10,000 men. Now, when the Lord, listen, choose you to do a work. Remember, he's going to go all the way with you. Amen. He's not going part way. Amen. Look at your life now. He's going all the way with you. Amen. Now, when you get out on the battlefield, Paul already says, put on the whole armor. Yes, right? Yes. Now, the Lord is not going to take anybody out there that's not ready. You must be ready in these days. These are the days you must be ready. There's wars all over the land. And the prophecy of Jesus Christ, Matthew 24, would tell you. But he also said, he that endures to the end shall be saved. So you'll come out okay. That's what he said. You'll come out okay. So look at your problems now and ask God to get in the battle with you. Oh, I don't know what Satan's doing to you now, but he's doing something. You're not running free. 
And if you are, something's wrong. That's right. Because Satan comes and say, Whoa to the inhabitants of everything. Right. For Satan comes down, knowing he don't have but a short time. Right. Now, in the time of your life, if Satan don't bother you, you're on his side. Come on now. If, something, if things don't ever happen to you, that means you are in the wrong. Come, come on. I hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm, I'm free from him. No, you'll never be free from him. This is what Paul said. Put on the whole. We've been warned. Well, we got to look at this. And they sued them 10,000 men, and they found a dumb man in Bezak. And they fought against him, and they slew the Canaanites and the Parasites. Parasites. And the dumb man, I'm good at these words, are yeah. <laughs> They fled and pursued after him and caught him. All right, now here's one they then got over there. They got hold to him. He flew. <laughs> They pursued after him and caught him and they cut off his thumbs mm -hmm. and his great toe. Mm -hmm. Now why his hand, not the thumb off his hand and his big toes? What can you do without this thumb taking a hold? Amen. Come on. People, if your thumb gets missing, you might as well, you're fumbling. You might, you might make it. But that thumb is important. God knew what he was doing when he created that body. Amen. All right, you cut your big toe off, you're going to reel and you rock. It's the big toe that, that, that's holding you up, holding up the rest of it. You see, it's always something of a part of your body is holding you up. Now, Christ is holding you up by his power. But, but if any part of Christ designed of his creation, it's going to crumble, it's going to fall. And am I not right? When we're just fumbling, let a part of your body be missing. And you're going to see how much that part was important. You see, we take God for granted. Oh, oh yes, we do. We get up in the morning just know we're going to see. No, we're going to get up out of the bed. We know that everything is going to be all right. We know that our, our flesh is going to be all right. But wait just a little while. You'll find out your adversary. Amen. He's coming. And then I want to warn you, except God is in the battle with you, you've already lost. Amen. You already have lost. Amen. But God, if God ever get in with you, Oh my God, some of you may not have experienced anything, but when you experience God's power, then you can raise your hand and you can say amen. But if you've never ooh, experienced anything from God, glory be to God, then you know that God is real. And you know that the adversary is real. Jesus had him fighting, so why can't you fight? Come on. He bore a cross, what's wrong with you? You got to have a cross in order to make it in. And some of us know right now, good and well, the devil is picking with you. You know he's picking with your mind, but you too stubborn to say, God, help me. Help me. You got to raise your hand and raise your hand high. Just like I raised my maid and promise to God. God, if I do this, you do that, you do this, I do that. You got to mean what you say. Let God get in that battle with you because you're talking about a man of war. Verse 7 and Dunlin, Bezak said three scores and ten kings have their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their meat under my table. Look at that, he's talking about what was cut off. Gathered on my table. <laughs> Glory be to God. He said, as I have done, so God had required me. And they brought him to Jerusalem where he died. Let me tell you something. If you don't do right, whatever you sow, so shall you reap. The Bible tells us at the end is death. God don't lie. He told me, go back. Let them see I'm God. Nobody plays with this one. 
not this one, not this God. Maybe another kind of God that don't move, don't give anything. But I'm talking about the real God, the creator of the universe. He's coming back again. To let the people know that I'm in control. I am the one that rules their life. I am the one that's standing up for them. See, we have forgotten about God. He stands up for you in every battle while you sleep. Satan creeps in. He's a spirit. He'll creep in. And he'll try his best when you wake up anymore to have a condition on you. Come, come on. God is saving you. He's in the battle. He's watching over your life. Why are you preaching like that? It's because God said do it. Do it on to save somebody's life. Somebody's going to wake up and know that God is in the land. Now the children of Judah had fought against Jerusalem, had taken it and spent it with the edge of the sword and set the city on fire. Amen. Sometimes God's not going to let a devil be left. Amen. He did it then. He still destroyed. Yeah. He's like, God won't work like that. He don't do things like, oh, you want a bet? Oh, you want a bet? This Bible is not a lie. Amen. When God's in the battle, he's going to end it. Amen. When he find a whole bunch of demons all gathered together, listen here, tell me about it. I want to know this God. Amen. I want to know about that one right there. That's able. Somewhere up there. He, he's showing signs every day. Every day there are signs that God is still ruling. And if, 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 if everybody would come together and put their minds together and ask God, now Lord, who shall go for us? Who should go for us? You see, everybody don't have a, the same mind. Everybody's not on one accord. But we got to get on one accord so we can see God. Yeah. Well, come on. He's still there. Yeah. They sing this song, God's not dead, but the very first moment they get in trouble, oh, yeah. they, take, they take cover somewhere. <laughs> Instead of standing up, yeah. getting in the army for the battle, for the great warrior to come and get in, stand still and know that I'm gone. Stand still. I'm coming down. I'm going to be right with you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about your enemies all around. Don't worry about what they say. All we need is God to come on in. Get in the battle with me. Stay with me. And I know that I win. I will win nothing. He already won. All you got to do is be still and know that he's gone. And after the children of Judah went down fighting against Canaanites and dwell in the mountains and in the south and in the valley. And Judah went against Canaanites. Judah went against. You see, when God, you don't understand, when God tells you to do something, it won't be you. He will guide your mind. to know what we're doing. I mean, he has to put it in your mind and in your heart what you're doing. Come on. If he chooses you, he'll make an outfit for you. He'll fix that inside for you. That inside don't praise him all the same time that you're in the battlefield. Come, come on. You go through praising him because you know you have the sword. That sword to come down. And God knows who's willing, and he knows who's able to do it. Everybody's not able because they don't have that making. You see, that kind of material is made of iron. You've got to be iron on the outside, iron on the inside. I'm saying strong, Paul said, be strong in the Lord, in the power. Glory be to his might. I feel what I'm saying. I don't know what you do, but I know what I'm saying. When you're sparing something, you know you can stand 
up and talk about God. Yeah. Isn't that right, God? Yeah. We need somebody to talk about him. Yeah. Tell the world what he's done for you. Yeah. Tell the world how he's brought you out. Tell the world. If you keep it to yourself and me, he ain't done nothing. You try to do it of yourself. Judah was against the Canaanites and they that dwell in the Hebron. Now, I'm read going on down. And from this he went against the inhabitants of four or three more. And I'm, I'm speaking quickly. And now look over here in verse 17. And Judah went with Seth, his brother. And they slew. Come on now. Get, get somebody to go with you. Amen. That you know. They said, no, Lord. Come on. Don't you drag anything out there with you. <laughs> you be fighting for nothing, really. Because you got to fight that head. And by the time you fight that head, you tired. You don't want somewhere and sit down. So, well, brother, I thought you supposed to be with me. See, all brothers not with you. Okay, come on. So, brother, somewhere and went somewhere and sit down and said, I, I think I don't want to get in the back. You know, you need somebody. If God says so, a lot of times he'll pick one on one. But if he said two by two, that brother better come on. Brother, look at your neighbor and say, Brother, come on. Help me. I need some help. And God will help both of us. And they slew them two together. They slew the Canaanites, the inhabitants of Zepta, and utterly destroyed. Utterly, utterly destroyed. You see, all it takes is God in the back. That's the message. All it takes is God in the back. Huh? You going to win? You can, I, I don't know. If, if you feel like me, I'm jumping and jumping by the seat. So, honey, I know what you're talking about. You see, maybe this is for the old timers. To know God. You see, when the new ones come up, they don't quite understand what you're talking about. But, but, but you get a bunch of old folks they start walking. They started moving around. So I know what you're talking about, honey. Because he had already done it for me. He did it for me a long time ago. And I know how to praise him. I know how to thank him. I know what you're talking about. Up and walk this off, cause this thing is real. You see, we 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 need real people, people who know that God, people who have stepped out in faith, people who know what they're talking about. I don't need nobody around me that guessing God. Don't guess it, that man. Tell me all about it. Tell me what He can do for me. I seek for all my God is a good God. Rich in mercy, rich in holiness, rich in righteousness. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's what God says. Come on. 
It's what God said. I know what you said, Mom. It's what God said. You don't listen to what nobody say. They knocked the head. God ain't talking to them. God told to you. If he rebuked, let him rebuke. Who cares? And the Lord was with Judah. He was with him. Glory be to God. And he drove out the inhabitants of, of the mountain. But he could not look, drive out the inhabitants of the valley. He drove them from the mountain, but the valley he couldn't do it. Because they had cherries of iron. They had cherries of iron. All right. All right, they couldn't do it. But what they couldn't do, God's going to do it. Think about it. What you can't do, God can do it. God can do it. And he's going to do it. I'm going to brag on the man. God is going to do it. Cherries of mine. Glory be to God. And you know my mind went to Revelation 1911. Don't call on him if you don't want no help. 
He should rule them with the rod of iron. And tread in the wine press of the fishes. And the wrath of the almighty God. He's coming back again. Yes, yes. The devil has torn up everything. Amen. And it caused all God's children to war. Nothing but wars. Nothing but fighting. And most of the time, the wars is not so much about it. It's our people's minds. Amen. Amen. There's so many wars in people's minds. They don't tell you what's going on in their mind. Uh -huh, because they're betraying something else. Uh, but what people are thinking is a shame. Amen. It's a shame what people think. But see, God said, I'm going to end all of that. I'm going to end everything that people are thinking of. Yeah. All the dirty deeds. Yeah. All the evil things. Yeah. God's seeing everything. And he's going to come back again. And he's yeah. going to smite hey. you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God said, if you're not pure in heart, you can't save me. Preaching. Well, I'm going to tell you, that's the gospel. If you can't take the gospel, why are you go to church? Why are you go to church for if you can't take the word of God? And he had on his vest, you know, his side, a name written King of Kings. King! You got many kings down here. All in the Bible, straight through every word, which almost you see. They're kings and still they're kings on this yeah. earth. But there's a greater king coming yeah. that goes straighten out this whole universe. Yeah. 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 People may not want him to come back, but he's going to come back anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. You may be in the valley. I'm talking about the devil now. Yeah. All draped up with your iron on. That's all right. God got you reserved for him. The devil's reserved for him. Yeah. He's gonna fight that battle all again. He's gonna finish it up. Yeah. Oh. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna finish it. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm here. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm here because God says, and there and in this time, and I said it once before, again about it, God's gonna bring them all. Yeah. He's gonna bring all of them to him. Every living thing that shall be alive in that day, God's going to bring it, and everybody's going to have to answer to God. Yeah. That's what I love about it. You're going to have to answer to God, not to flesh, but God. Everybody has got to answer to God. Glory yeah. be to God. Yeah. I hate to see them go across the great white throne. Yeah. Some of them just going to keep walking past without him being judged because they know they've done wrong anyhow. So go on and jump in the lake. <laughs> That's right. Tip your hat at him and keep walking. Amen. And they know where they're going. Everybody know where they're going. The word of God is to remind you of our doings. Go on, shout on that. Go on, tip your hat. Just, just, just go and give him a salute and keep walking. King of kings. And Lord of Lords. I don't care how many Lords and yes, Lord, you know, you got bounty and people working for one another. Come, Lords, you know, and whatever. Hey, Abel, one Lord. Amen. He saw angels standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice, said to all the fowls that fly in the midst of him, Come and gather yourself into the supper of the great God. Uh -huh. You haven't seen anything that's getting ready to take place. Whenever I see the eagles are joining together, when I see all kind of birds and things that's coming together, and, and, and notice God's creation, the things that cannot talk, they're for signs. Come, come on. When you see them gathered together in groups, know ye not the master of the universe is getting us, supposed to be getting us ready, but we are in the supposing. We're in the supposing group. We are supposed, but we're not. The war is in our minds. I can't get close to some people. I can't even talk to them because what's in your mind? It comes out at you. And sometimes it comes so strong you have to do like that. Because you feel the force of evil. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. That's what God has to deal with. Our evil. I, I tell the truth. 
Some people look at you and in their mind, there's nothing but knives. So you move back. That's the day that God saving for his wrath. I'm telling you. The whole universe has gone through a change. Love is disappearing. Perfect love. We know it casts out fear. That's for the saints. But I'm telling you, Jesus saw the prince coming, which was the slave He said, he had nothing in me. He's the prince of the world. Amen. Jesus went another way. Amen. When you see the devil coming, Amen. go another way. Amen. You don't need to have a speech with him. Don't, don't talk to him. Leave him alone. Amen. He comes to stir up trouble. Amen. Your mind, mess your mind up. A lot of people's minds been so messed up they don't know what's what anymore. Right. No, 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 no. And they're going to give you instructions. <laughs> and they can't even have faith for themselves. Amen. The time is now. Amen. People, wake up. The time, the hour is now. God is has planted your feet yes. on solid ground and holy ground. Yes. Stay put. Yes, sir. Yes. Don't move. Yes. If he places a shadow all over you, stay under the shadow of the almighty God. Yes. That's your protection. Yes. Remember, he's in every battle that you He's going to wait for you. And you shall have peace beyond peace. Even though you may have trouble and be trouble. That's all right. Peace still walks with you. The man of peace shall be with you. Because he's going to fight every battle. And I'm so glad there is a God that will stand up for you in the day of your storms. There's a God that will stand up with you in the day of your trials. Judah! He said, whatever Judah does, I ordained it to do. So God still looking for a man. Someone that will stand up for him and do exactly what he said to do. Oh, but you must walk on. Have no fear. For God is with you. Stand and be strong in the Lord and in the power of his name. That's what we're facing today. I don't care what the preachers preach. They need to tell the people, Jesus is coming back again. And he's going to fight every battle through the army that needs to follow him. He's got an army that's going to follow him. Glory be to God. How precious. How precious. That pretty brother Turner said he's going to be behind him. But oh, glory be to God. How wonderful it is. I'm telling you, I'm amazed at the works of God. That he let you live. You're still alive. You're still here. You've been through trials and tribulation. Rows of this land. But you're still here. I don't care what the devil do. You're still here. He has not turned you back. You're still here. You're still here. So it's time to praise Him. Pray when you go out on the battlefield. Praise Him. Thank God. That's all right. I know my Redeemer living, but He's living in me. He's living in me. And I'm going to make it. You have to talk to yourself. Now I'm going to make it. I'm going. I'm going on. You can tell when the Word of God comes. And it comes in strength. He shuts the demons up. He shuts the demons up. Because the demons come to make God of a lie. But God would never be a lie. His word would always be true. He fought battles back there. He's fighting today. How many you know he's fighting in battles for you? Yes, sir. When he fights battles, you come out victorious. You're victorious, person. You're not right about everybody he fought for you. You come out victorious. You'll never be left behind. He'll put you in front. And you're not to tell. Thank you. 
How many believe what I'm saying? I'm saying because God said it. God said it. Live by the word of the Lord. Live by the strength of the Lord. Come on, not your strength, but the strength of the Lord. Live. Take it in. Believe it. Receive it. And it'll work for you. Just tell the devil, that's all right. Someday you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You had a big picking with me. Tell him, you ain't had a big picking with me. Your day is coming. Your day is coming. You ain't had no busy line on me. Tell the devil, he's a liar. You're lying to him. You ain't had a big line on me. God going to get you. You tell him. And God, watch, watch God fight for you. Watch God fight for you. Tell them. People are scared. People are scared of the devil. That's why they won't report. Report him. Go back and report what he's doing to you. Tell God about it. Tell God about it. Tell the most high about it. Don't get red. Go tell God what he's doing to you. God will fix that thing. What we do? What he do? What he do? Come on, I need somebody to help me. What he do? I'm calling every day and pray. God do something for you right now. Why is somebody standing on your feet? He's doing something right for you right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. If he didn't do anything for you, you wouldn't be here. Whose side are you on? Raise your hands and tell God I'm on your side. I'm on your side. He's coming to fight your battle for you, people. The biggest battle you've ever seen in your life. He's coming back. And he's going to do it. I've got confidence in it. He's going to do it. It's all right. Somebody been healed right now. By listening to the word of God, somebody has been healed right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody been blessed right now. It may not be in here, but somebody out there has been blessed by the word of God. Somebody need the word of God out there. Somebody need what God is doing. It may not be in here, but it's out there. Somewhere, I declare to God, God's doing it because he's not a liar. And every word he said must be performed. There's another congregation out there. God said, I'm going to move upon it. Yes, sir. Somebody, somewhere, has been turned around. Yes. Seeing that God is God. Yes. And that God is going to bless them. Yes. Everlasting. Oh, Lord, I feel it. I feel like I'm out of here. Yes. I'm somewhere else. Yes. Because God is pulling people. People pull. Uh -huh. People are pulling for the word hey. of God. Oh, yeah. People are rejoicing because of the word of God. I feel that people's not just sitting there. Somebody out there, they're raising their hand and they pray for their Lord. I feel it because I feel like I'm out of here. Somewhere in congregation, I don't know that they're rejoicing in the word of God. Somebody somewhere wants Jesus. Oh, that. Somebody somewhere out there is praising your God, that God, your God. I feel it. I feel that. I feel that. I know it's real. Somebody wanting Jesus. Somebody rejoicing because they can hear about the most high God. Somebody somewhere is thanking God for his word. God, his word will not return. Lord. Praise God. Let me be quiet and let me yes. take my seat because God said to almost get ready to be quiet. Thank yes. God for Jesus Christ of yes. Nazareth. Yes. Let's give him a hand. Yes. Enjoy while you got it. Enjoy him 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 while you got it. Oh, I was really enjoying the most hot God for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen.